I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. Uh, in this session, I am going to discuss the different types of domestic wiring. Uh, I have given the introduction about domestic wiring in my previous session, which is already available in the video description. You can check out once. Now, we are going to talk about the various types of uh, domestic wiring. First, let me check out what are the different types of internal domestic wirings are available uh, in the general purpose. First one is baton wiring cleat wiring, wooden casing and capping wiring, and conduit wiring. These are the four most popular different types of domestic wiring which are available. So we'll be talking about the baton wiring. What do you mean by baton wiring? So before showing the, like uh, exp before doing the explanation, let me show you uh, the picture so that you will be understanding properly. As you can see, these are the different type of baton style, baton type of wiring. You might have seen this, wooden baton, correct? Yes. You, and just check out once yeah so the baton wiring implies pvc cable or trs trs is in the, in the sense tough rubber sheeted runs through a varnished teak wood baton like this we have a varnished teak wood baton okay so we have a uh, this is actually the wood baton you can see my pointer this is the wood baton uh, inside the wood baton a pvc cable will be lying over so that is exactly happening in the case of baton wiring so baton is made, usually made up of wood. So the thickness will be 10 millimeter. You can check the thickness. It will be 10 millimeter. PVC cable carries through wooden casing covered with the wooden caping. Caping is for covering purpose. You can see the different type of covering. See, uh, these are actually the covering. Covering will be there. Wooden covering. Okay. See casing. Uh, next. Weight depends on the number of wires run. You can see the, the total weight that will be depending on uh, the number of wires run. Link clips are use, usually provided. You can see the different type of link clips. Okay, I, let me point out. This is my link clips. You check out, these are the link clips. Okay, link clips will be usually uh, placed over there. What is the purpose of link clips? To fix, that's a major purpose. Next is uh, like a varnishing of teak wooden batter. So, the varnished wooden that is actually we are using the varnished wooden only okay it is a bit expensive correct uh, then smooth curve given for the turning point to prevent the damage see you can see the smooth curve where is the smooth curve you can see here this is this is the smooth curve so prevention will be avoided sharp edge if it if there is a sharp edge there are chances for brittle to prevent the like uh, uh, to prevent the brittle brittleness and improve the durability also preventing the damage we are going to provide the curved shape Okay, that is what exactly happening in the baton wiring. The next is uh, like this. It's a simple and economical. So, some case, some angle, if you go for a high order wood, then you have to pay more. But if, it, if you are using a cheap wood, then payment will be less only. So, that is all about baton wiring. Similar to baton wiring, we have one more type that is called a wooden casing and keeping. Casing is a rectangular baton strip which is attached on the wall. So, like this. I already shown you. So this is actually wooden baton, right? Wooden, uh, there is one rectangular wooden baton. And there is an opening also, that's a speciality. In the previous type of baton wiring, there is no opening. In case any maintenance is required, we don't have any provision to open. But in the case of wooden casing and caping, we have a facility to open, that's a speciality. Then it's the oldest type of wiring, which is used in the old buildings and palaces. Then PVC cable carries through wooden casing covered with the wooden caping. So we have the casing and caping. Okay, so casing in the sense, uh, this is my casing. The, uh, this uh, longer line is actually considered as casing. This is my caping. I hope you understood. One second, I'll point out. This is my caping. Just a moment. Yeah. This is my caping. This is my cap. And this is my case. Wooden case. Wooden case or any other case you can use. Okay, caping and casing. You point out here. This is my casing. And uh, the entire structure, entire straight line, that is actually called a KP. So, please do understand. Yeah. Similarly, you can use the PVC like uh, casing also. Uh, nowadays, people are using PVC casing and KP. PVC cable carries through the wooden casing covered with the wooden caping and a caping for covering purpose. Correct. Uh, then uh, always varnish uh, like varnish the casing and caping before installation to prevent the further uh, like atta oxidation attack from the insects etc. Shape is like a rectangular strip. We have a rectangular strip. Then casing is fitted on the casing and screwed every fifteen uh, every fifteen centimeter. So screwing will be done. You can see the screwing. Could you see the sc screwing? Yes. Here there is a screwing. 
screwing will be done uh, alternative 15 centimeter that is another speciality of this type of wiring then it is a bit costly because uh, always wooden is costly even if you go for like a pvc type casing and caping cost will be a bit less in the, in the case of like uh, uh, most of the companies they are using uh, like a um, pvc type casing and caping that also can be used plastic type i'm not saying pvc it's a plastic type but uh, the life is very less compared to wooden okay Similarly, like a size of the casing and capping, 38 millimeter width and 16 uh, millimeter thickness. So that's a speciality of uh, casing and caping. Length will be up to 10 feet. Okay. Casing, casing is installing on the walls and which will be screwing like this. Okay. It is already installed in the wall. Okay. Looks better. But uh, sometimes if there is an oxidation or any attack is happened, it looks, uh, it doesn't look good. Casing and caping wiring installed in vertical and horizontal position. So you can see the vertical position. It will be in the vertical as well as horizontal position. Uh, then uh, there are different type of joint like T joint, L joint, etc. That's another speciality. Lifespan is expected to be 20 years. It is installed on the wall. That is already seen. Uh, then all the cables are inserted on the casing. Then caping is fitted on the ca uh, casing. So that uh, like uh, anytime we can take out in case any maintenance is required. Suited for LV installation, low voltage installation. Wires laid on the grooves and casing is covered the rectangular shape on the same width. That is called the caping. Casing are made up of with the teak wood. Usually teak wood is preferred. It is, it is a bit costly. That's what. Teak is very costly, right? Casing com comprises of V-shaped grooves. Where is V-shape? You can see the V-shape. Correct, no? Where I'll point out. You can see. Shape will be like a V-shape, right? Yes, V-shape groove. So that is what it is called. Uh, V-shape grooves. Uh, next is the plus point of or advantages of casing and caping long life good like a uh, looks uh, looks better uh, like uh, easy to install easy to inspect the major setbacks are highly inflammable wood is inflammable risk there is a risk of fire not suited for wet area okay then uh, that wooden will be spoiled wooden part will be spoiled high labor cost is needed for the installation need to varnish and maintenance is necessary alternate frequently that is another drawback Suitable for dry places, especially in the places like Rajasthan and uh, uh, desert area. Okay, in uh, like uh, deserts, suitable for deserts. Next is actually conduit wiring. What is conduit wiring? It is a most commonly used wiring. Okay, which is the most commonly used wiring nowadays? Of course, conduit wiring. So, PVC cable rest, run through conduit or pipe or steel tubes. Conduit is uh, like, elect uh, like this, you can see. We have a conduit. Your wire will be your PVC cable will be passing through the conduit. Conduit will give the mechanical strength. So conduit should electrically and mechanically continuous to the earth. Because if you are using pipe and uh, like a pipe, steel steel tubes, of course, everything should be required. Smooth enamel coating should be provided, uh, like uh, for the conduit. However, conduit must be very flexible. Otherwise, it may brittle or it may break in between. Conduit. Uh, conduit wirings are broadly classified into two types. One is surface conduit wiring. Other one is called the concealed or recessed wiring. So these are the uh, like a conduit wiring. Let me uh, explain in greater details. Different sizes of conduits are available. So these are the different conduits. Look at the conduit. We have 12 millimeter, 16 millimeter, 19 millimeter, 31 millimeter, 38 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 63 millimeter. That you can decide depends on the installation. So PVC conduit and steel conduits are feasible. The advantages of PVC conduits are easy to install, save labor cost and time, resistance to acid, alkalis, oils and moisture. The major drawbacks of PVC conduit is variation with respect to temperature which will cause the damage and uh, hazards. It may melt. That's a problem. Let us talk about the types of conduit wiring. One is surface conduit wiring. Other one is concealed conduit wiring. First of all, I will show you the diagram so that you will understand. Uh, surface conduit wiring will be looking like this. This is actually the surface conduit wiring. Uh, appearance will be like, uh, uh, doesn't look good. It will be directly projecting on the surface. Conduits are directly seen on the wall. Okay, if you go for like a modern building, this type of installation is not good. If I go for like a, uh, co conceal conduit wiring it is actually better so all the conduit will be passing inside the walls therefore it is not visible in case any maintenance is required you can you have to take out right so that is actually the concealed conduit or recessive wiring okay 
So two types of conduit wiring, surface conduit wiring. I already shown you the diagram. Uh, the, the PVC conduit or steel conduit are fixed on the ball and the ceiling with the help of saddles and staples. It is going to fix on the ball. If I talk about the concealed type of wiring, uh, conduits are bedded inside the ball. Suitable chase made on the ball and the suitable hooks can be made for the fixing. Uh, also, apply the plaster afterwards. Suitable inspection boxes need to be provided for the maintenance. That is very important. Electrician should know where they place the inspection box. Inspection box helps the maintenance for work and in, like observation, installation, etc. So you can see the conduit wiring. Uh, like this is actually surface conduit wiring. So uh, we can see the uh, like uh, saddles and staples. So this is actually like a surface recessive wiring where all the conduits are passing inside the wall. The advantages of conduit wiring are protection against mechanical damage, protection against fire and short circuit, waterproof system. We have the replacement and defective uh, like a part dictating system, a long life and a shock proof. If I talk about the setbacks, it is expensive. So erection is in, uh, like not easy. Once it is installed, any trouble should you want to do, it is too cost, too expensive and uh, entire structure become spoiled. We require experience and skill labor to identify the like uh, position and where the exact fault is happening. That you, you require experience labor. Uh, internal uh, co condensation of moisture cause damage to the entire system. That is another drawback. Now I would like to talk about the fourth type of wiring that is called a cleat wiring. Cleat wiring is, let me show you the diagram. So you can see the cleats. Okay, it's an old type of wiring, cleat. Okay, so this are, these are actually called a cleat wiring. So let me talk about like a cleat wiring. Cleats are made up of with the porcelain. You can see the cleats. It is made up of with the uh, porcelain. So cleats are made up of with the porcelain and fixed on the wall at the ceiling of interval of 0.6 meter. So I will show you the diagram so that you can understand. See, these are different type of cleats. Cleat 1, cleat 2, cleat 3. So every 0.6 meter, you are going to install the cleat. It is for the fixing purpose only. Okay, it will give the mechanical strength and it is going to fix. Uh, the cable is taken through the holes of each cleat. Exactly, the cable you can see, it is actually, uh, holes are made on the cleat. Okay, from each cleat we are going to take uh, like uh, cables. Fine. And then such wiring is cheap and used for temporary installation. Or if you want to have the temporary installation, it is better to go for cleat wiring. It is not recommended for the like a uh, long term wiring. Okay, for long term wiring and all, you can go for like a conduit wiring. So the requirement of a good wiring system, it will ensure safety. It must be durable. Appearance also should be good. Aesthetic sense should be there. Mechanical protection. Then uh, permanency, long durability. Then uh, it should be accessible for um, alteration, extension, maintenance, etc. Initial investment should be as minimum as possible. So maintenance cost should be optimum. These are the major choice of requirement of a good wiring system. Okay, if you like this video, kindly share with the people, those who are working on it in the same domain. Also give the valuable comments for the improvement. Kindly subscribe the channel for getting similar kind of video. Happy learning. Wish you all the very best for your examination. Thank you.